Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with a long overdue Firewall Zero Hour video. This one is all about the latest developer stream that First Contact Entertainment did last Friday, where they showed off the new gun, the Reg K8 Classic, which is of course a fully automatic version of the Reg Case, which is the single shot that is already in the game. And they also showed off the new French contractor Dom and his skill gives him one additional downstays. We knew both of these were coming of course, but this is our first look at them in the flesh. We also see some tweaks made to the upcoming Gauntlet map as well as changes to enemy AI behavior. I'll have a link to this stream in the description below if you want to check it out for yourselves, but before we start let me just quickly plug my discord the link for which is in the description below if you want to chat firewall psv or, or just general chat anyway on to the video so first things first is the reg case classic which as i've said is the automatic version of the reg case that is already in the game. Now this weapon is based off the real life AUG Stayer, but the classic variant has that raised part up here on top. Someone in the comments can let me know the technical term for what that's actually called, that the old Reg K doesn't have. So the classic looks even more like the typical design you'd expect to see from a real AUG. Another noticeable change is the increased magazine capacity. So the base Reg has a 20 round magazine and that was with the extended magazine attachment. Whereas the new classic Reg has a 30 round capacity although I'm not sure Frank has the extended magazine equipped here or not I assume he probably has either way it's an increase compared to the base version in terms of how well this gun performs well I don't think we can tell for sure just yet Frank was up against AI bots and it's really hard to get a feel for these weapons by watching somebody else play especially when you need to take range and recoil into consideration so as of right now I don't know if this is going to compete with the Taylor CQB we just gotta wait and see so let's talk very briefly about the new contractor Dom then. So he's French and he has the ability that lets him get downed an additional time. So that's three downed states that he can enter before he's eliminated. So while we didn't see that in action on this stream, you can imagine how that would be. It is going to take a lot of bullets to kill a Dom and I can see him frustrating many opponents. I think an effective approach when you come up against a Dom might be to try finishing him off with an explosive after you down him first if possible. Otherwise you're going to be shooting for a long time to put him down for good. Dom will be available to op pass holders only for now and his skill will be a timed exclusive for op pass holders too so do keep that in mind. Now another thing I wanted to mention briefly is that it looks like the new map Gauntless has had quite a few tweaks made to us since we saw it originally. Not just in terms of lighting and the aesthetic of it but in terms of extra in-game objects on the map. So it looks like there's a a section of the map that has borrowed some of the assets from the district map like vehicles and like some road signage and stuff like that and that of course makes the open areas less open and adds extra options for cover now who knows what other tweaks we will see before the map officially drops on the 26th of November and this is along with everything else this video is talking about so you can expect the new map the new contractor and new weapon to go live on the 26th at 10 a.m. PST or close to that time 10 a.m. seems to be the time they'll be aiming for for now on when it comes to updates. So you might have been expecting it to drop today, but week five is actually being postponed by a week. So we are currently in a week break period, if you know what I mean. But the season will continue as normal next Tuesday where we will get this mid-season update. Finally, the other thing that First Contact Entertainment wanted to show us by doing this stream was their new AI behavior, namely that AI are now capable of utilizing drop downs. So drop downs have been introduced to firewall maps with the prepper map and we'll see them again on this upcoming gauntlet map. If you go to the fuselage section there's at least two drop downs there. So before this update the AI didn't know what to do about these drop downs. Now they'll hop down and surprise you. So that's a nice touch for those of you out there who like to play the co-op mode in firewall. And so that's really it in terms of new stuff coming in the season updates in this developer stream we still have yet to see the nerve gas mines in action which are also due in the mid-season update perhaps we'll see another developer stream this friday maybe that will show them off who knows but once we do see those that will be all for operation heartland and we'll have to start looking towards the future so we've had a roadmap that outlined three seasons back to back operation nightfall dark web and heartland and we're about to exit heartland 
in just a few more weeks. Each of those operations have given us two new maps for a total of 16 maps. Now we know that First Contact Entertainment have stated that they have many more operations to come, but will these all include new maps? It seems unlikely that they can keep releasing maps as quickly as they have been over the past 7 months or so. And 16 is a pretty high number of maps in fairness. I don't think anyone can complain that Firewall doesn't have enough maps anymore. Of course we can still have seasons without new maps. They could instead focus on new ways to play. New equipment like the motion sensor have arguably made more of a difference to the game than any map ever could. Or if a new weapon can challenge the CQB, you're talking about another game changer right there not to mention new skills. But what do you think about the future of Firewall? Do you want more maps or would you be satisfied with what we have now? What do you want to see Firewall be in 2020? And keep in mind there's been a few hints towards the possibility of Firewall getting dedicated servers too in 2020. So if that happens you'd imagine it's going to breathe some fresh new life into the game especially when Firewall still has so little in the way of competition on PSVR. Anyway that is it for this video lads and ladies thank you very much for watching but before I go let me give a huge thank you to the following moist pumpkins on screen now. Thanks to their generosity over on patreon.com this channel can continue to grow. Also let me give a shout out to the following folks who are on the soaking wet pumpkins tier. Pete Hall Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III, Crumb, and for the first time ever, Tradition, who has upped his pledge, and I am very grateful for that. Thank you lads for all your support. If you'd like to help me out on Patreon too, then the link will be in the description. Also, let me give a quick shout out to Decepticon, whose album, Screens and Dreams, will be releasing on the 26th of November. That's the same day as Firewall's mid-season update. So be sure to check out Decepticon.com if you want to listen to all his new fire tracks, as the kids say. Finally, if you want to help me out the old-fashioned way with the likes and the comments and the shares and all that usual shice, I'd appreciate that too. See you in the next one.